just head to the theater on Sunday 13th where wristbands will be handed out from 9 a.m., the place producers posted on Instagram. The giveaway was welcome news to thousands of Harry Potter fans, with the cheapest tickets costing between $65 and $175 per part, and the most expensive $270. The Instagram post was accompanied by a video of some of the play's lead actors including Gaiden Grantley, who will play Ron Weasley, Gareth Reeves, playing the adult Harry, and Paula Rundell as Hermione Granger. We've been working really hard the last few months in our new Australian home, Melbourne's beautiful new Princess Theatre here on Spring Street and we're getting really close to sharing it with you, Reeve said, in fact it's our final dress rehearsal next week on Wednesday and Thursday and we thought we'd do something a little special, this is a very rare opportunity for you to experience the dress rehearsal which is usually reserved for the creatives as we put the final touches on the production, so anything could happen, Arundel added. The play's producers say they expect the free tickets, which are limited to one per person, will be in high demand. Melbourne is the first city to host Harry Potter and the Cursed Child after London, where it premiered, and New York. Unlike the Harry Potter movies adapted from J.K. Rowling's novels, Cursed Child is written by Rowling, Jack Thorne and John Tiffany. It picks up where the epilogue of the final novel in the series, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, left off, 19 years after the Battle of Hogwarts. An unlikely friendship forms between Harry's son Albus, Sean Reese Weems, and Scorpius Malfoy, William McKenna, son of Harry's former nemesis. Split across two installments, fans are encouraged to see both in the same day or on consecutive evenings. Harry Potter the play.com slash